How to couple in Excel conditional formatting with check boxes? This is what we're going to see in today's video. Excel, the newer versions of Excel, has a new tool. So if you go to Insert, and then here you have check boxes. This is an easier and faster way to create check boxes in Excel and then combine it with the conditional formatting. But if you don't have, let's say, this new tool in Excel, don't worry, because we're also going to see here how can we use the Developer tab and within the Developer tab, we have Controls, Insert, and then the checkboxes. We are also going to see how can we apply those checkboxes right here within the Developer tab and then couple them with the conditional formatting. So let's take a look in this practical example and see how can we use checkboxes in Excel with conditional formatting. Let's go. In the first method, we are going to need to enable the Developer tab to have access to the checkboxes. And to enable the Developer tab, you can go to the Home tab, for example. And in any blank space, you can right click and then you can go to customize the ribbon. Here, instead of using popular commands, you can choose all or main tabs or all tabs, for example. And then uh, you're going to have developer. You can click here and then click add and then OK. And you're done. Now you can see that you got the developer tab in Excel. And uh, in the developer tab, you can go to insert and then choose the option that you need to use, such as the checkbox. Let me click here. And then I can click, hold, and drag to set the area of my checkbox. Maybe like this is OK. And if you want to make some small change in the size of the checkbox, you can just click in this little circle that you have in the bottom right corner. For example, click, hold, and drag up or drag out and whatever. That way you can change the area. So let's say my first checkbox is here. Whenever I click in this checkbox, as you can see, it's going to be marked or not. But uh, let's make some change here. I want to read it off this text because I don't want to use any text, just the uh, checkbox itself. Right click in the checkbox and then edit text. Here I'm going to read it off everything and then OK. I'm going to click out. I can click again in the, in the checkbox to change the area. But uh, as you can see, if I click in the checkbox, I can't select the area of the checkbox. But I just can, can mark or unmark the, the box. So right click in the checkbox and then you can. Press the escape button and uh, now you can set again a different area like this. OK, but uh, we're going to need to continue to make some changes here because if I click in the checkbox, nothing actually is happening here. Just uh, the, within the area of the box is being marked or not. But uh, I can't use this in the condition of formatting. I need something else. I need, let's say, a true or false whenever I have a marked or not box. And to do it, this true or false, let's right click in the checkbox and then I go to format control. And here in cell link, I'm going to click in this upper arrow and I'm going to set as a true or false area. Let's say the cell that I have to the right and then down arrow again. And I can also select 3D shading just to make the checkbox a little bit different. I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, now I have either true or false depending on the, if the checkbox is marked or not. OK, so this. This, this first status is working. And if I want to create more status, I don't need to do it all over again. But uh, basically, I need to click in the checkbox that we did. And then in the bottom right corner of the cell, click, hold, and drag down like this to make sure now all the rows contains a different checkboxes. And uh, if I click in one of those checkboxes, look what's going to happen here. All those checkboxes are going to be marked at the same time. This happened because, as I said, we just scope the same checkbox down. So we need to link each one of those individually checkboxes with a specific cell. And this is the problem with this method because it may can take a, a, a lot of time. OK, uh, but let's do here the second checkbox. Right click here and then format control. Instead of using the cell link cell G3, I want to use the row underneath it. So G4 and then I'm going to click OK. And as you can see now, this specific checkbox are, is separate from the rest. You can apply this method for all the checkboxes, but I think it's going to take a long time. So this is why I have the second method. But anyways, uh, let's apply here the conditional formatting by, and be mindful because I didn't separate the rest of the checkboxes from the first one, just the second one. I want to select everything that I have, including here the true and false tron. And then I go to Home tab, conditional formatting, and I want to create a new rule. As I want to format the entire row, I need to create a new rule to apply this conditional formatting to the entire row. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. Now I want to click here in this upper arrow. And whenever, let's say, 
this cell that I have right here, the first true or the first false, it doesn't matter, the first cell is, let me click in the down arrow again, is equal to open quotations true or I can just type in here true. Whenever it's equal to true, I want you to click in format and uh, highlight the entire row with a different color, such as maybe green, like this. Okay, and just be mindful because it's very important to read it off the second dollar sign because I want to keep the column G as my reference. So I don't want to change the column G. So this is why I'm going to leave the, the column G with the dollar sign before it. But I don't want to keep just the row number three with the conditional formatting. I want to apply this conditional formatting for all the rows that I have. Uh, so this is, is why it's important to get rid of the second dollar sign. Okay, like this. And then I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, whenever I have a true in the, in the row that I have a true, the entire row is going to be automatically highlighted for me, as you can see here. But uh, we have the problem because we need to assign all those different checkboxes manually, individually for each one of the different rows. This is the problem with this method. But anyways, it's already working. Now, the second method that we can use here is much easier and faster because the newer versions of Excel has here in the insert tab, the checkboxes. And it's much easier to use. I just need to select th those cells where I want to apply the checkboxes and then just click in the checkbox. That's, that's it, we're done. So as you can see here, now we have many different checkboxes for the entire data that we have. And whenever I click in one checkbox, look what's going to happen. Just this specific checkbox is going to be marked for me. And within the cell, I can see through the formula bar that I have a true whenever the checkbox is marked. And uh, if I click in a blank checkbox like this one, I can see through the formula bar that I have a false as a result. So this is very important because I can use it in the conditional formatting. So let's do it again. I want to select my entire data set and then I go home tab, conditional formatting, and new rule. Now let's say use a formula to determine which cells to format uh, within this formula bar. Equal sign whenever the first checkbox here is equal to the word true, it means it's a uh, it's it's market. And it's very important to be mindful to read it off the second dollar sign for the reasons that I I said before. Click in format and then I want to choose here a different color, such as a blue one. Okay, okay, and yeah, we're done. Whenever I have now a market checkbox, you can see that uh, the entire row is going to be automatically highlighted for me. So this is how we can apply the checkboxes in Excel with the conditional formatting. So I hope this video can help you out. And uh, if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know. Comment down below. And I see you tomorrow. As ever day has a new video, I see you there.